What we have here is a conversion project, taking an old 70s Gretsch Jasper shell, a six slug shell, and converting it into something that you would actually want to play. Looks pretty ratty when it first came to me. However, the shell wasn't round and the edges weren't too bad. Had a bunch of holes I wanted to dowel up, so I doweled up the entire drum because I wanted to re drill it with 10 lugs. Sanded, filed down all of the dowels that I had put in. Brought it up to Precision Drums. Scotty drilled it out for 10 lugs. Put some additional dowels in. Covered it in white marine pearl. That's George. He's working on the bearing edges there. Just checking it out, making sure it's absolutely perfect. There's your white marine pearl shell drilled out. Starting to put on some of the hardware. Got a George Way throw off. Put on the precision badge. And that's the drum before the head's put on. That's your finished product. It's a 10 lug drum. I got the lugs off the internet from China. You may have to wait a little bit, but you can get reproductions of Gretsch. I've gotten some Rogers lugs. I've gotten uh, Leedy and Radio King that match the originals. So it has the look of Gretsch. Now it's drilled out for 10 lugs. Obviously there was no 70s Jasper shell that was ever a 10 lug, but here it is, a 10 lug drum. I put on a George Way throw-off system. It's sometimes called a beer tap throw-off. It's an elegant system, very simple. One screw on either side, not a lot of drilling. A little tricky to get the, the wires on, but uh, after you get past that point, it works just fine. And here you go. <laughs> 